What's up guys, welcome to this video. We are going to be looking at the Edexcel A-Level Maths paper number two. It was nothing like what we expected and we want to talk about the topic list that you provided. Also the kind of response from your own students first and foremost. Yeah and what we might be looking at for paper three. Partial fraction came up, uh, principal contradiction didn't come up, modulus functions came up, series didn't come up, uh, small angle approximation has came up. This list, sorry, just to, um, yeah. just to like anyone who hasn't seen the list, uh, on one of the videos before this video, we provided a list of topics. Were these predicted topics it's, it's, or not? It's, it's more for which hasn't, topics that hasn't come up, okay? Because um, in the past, you, like usually, if a topic has come up, less like very less likely it's not going to come up again. Yeah. Last year, for example, differential equation came up twice in the first paper, then surprises again in the third paper with the bigger uh, differential equation question. This year, on the other hand, it was repeats after repeats. There was so many repeated topics. So they repeated topics. a lot of quest uh, topics from paper one. Yes, like if, um, expo uh, exponential functions and modeling with exponentials came up uh, a few times in paper one and then a few times again in paper two. Mm -hmm. You had Percentage wise, the, how much of this came up? Seven topics out of the whole list, about half, 50%. 50%. Okay, the reason I asked is because uh, we had one of the students come back and he said, Sir, you know, Edexcel done an Uno reverse card. I had to look that up, by the way, on, on this topic list. So the, the, obviously when I looked it up, it was like the opposite. It went backwards or something, yeah? So 50% um, came up. Yeah, oh. but the thing is, 50% came up. The, the other 50% the other is repeats. It's, when I looked at it, it's, it's more, for, more for what hasn't come up because it's less likely to come up again. Um, but then again, last, based on last year, obviously, there's always a chance that same to one topic will come up. Mm -hmm. But this year, Unexpected the surprise that's big time in the sense so this year's more paper. than one topic has was has been repeated. So in that sense, because of them repeated so many questions, there's less room for all the other topics they you know, to put into the paper. So was this year's paper an unusual paper number two? I would say so. In in, a, in, in, in a sense in the sense like like Cortex, for example, came up to both papers, but but the weird thing is it was the same concept with the with the KK value. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first paper was like a graph quarter gets translated by K and and it crosses the x-axis, you get four solutions. Mm -hmm. And paper two, again, quartic equals k, four solutions. Mm -hmm. So in that, the same, the same was tested, we're testing on the same concept in, in, in that sense twice mm -hmm. on both papers. I was going to say, let's look at the uh, student community feedback now. Yeah, I mean, before, I mean, I didn't get to see the paper on the day, so on the, the, the following day, um, I saw the paper in the morning. And when I was getting my message from my students, I was, I was getting mixed, mixed, mixed messages. Mm -hmm. they, some of them were saying, oh, you know, all the easy topics didn't come up. Mm -hmm. um, but th but even though the paper wasn't so bad, it was mm -hmm. actually the right paper. Okay. Um, there were, yes, there were a few hard questions, but it was all right, you know. Um, half the paper was actually quite, you know, GCSE style, apparently. Okay, that's what uh, it was started saying. off with, you know, with GCSE style, but then it got a bit more I actually had to look at it as well. When I was going through, like, question one, just briefly, I was like, oh, factorize complete, that's nice, GCSE. Yeah. And then the second one was a nice, simple in, in terms In terms of... Text and writing was like minimum. Very. It's that's... only like once you get to like half through the paper, then you get started, started get, get those essay type. You know? mm. Even a small angle approximation, yes, it was a bit challenging one at the start, but then they broke it up. So even if you couldn't do it, they they gave you the expansion, and but then and then you use that to answer the, the next two parts, which are first four mm. marks. And, and that's these typical are, of lots of available questions. And yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's the other these part two and part three are doable just by using the answer from okay. part, so if you part you A, which that is, what that's part just two a marks was, in part yeah. A, but which is a harder uh, work compared to the other. Seven. You know, partial fractions, is, is they're giving you how it splits up. Mm -hmm. What about eight? Number eight. Yeah, yeah. it's the quartic one. So yeah. it's, it's a repeat, so. That was uh, repeated. Was it very, was it anything different from what paper one quartic question? Like, it's slightly different. The, the quartic graph, from what I remember, you have to, you have to form, uh, form the actual equation of the quartic graph. And the second part was, uh, it, it gets translated and it, and it crosses the x-axis at four places, okay. what's the k, k value of translation. Okay. But this one uh, is equal to k. So now since you, you get another horizontal line cutting through the quartic graph of four, uh, four, the four places, find what k is, okay. uh, find the range of values of k. So very similar concept okay. to paper one. Then so moving on to question nine. Um, modeling with exponential came up on paper one. Mm -hmm. Again, it came up on paper okay. two. But even though it's like so the quarter graph, for example, they've done it, and and because it only came up, they won't look through it again. Or you know, maybe I should have revised more on, mm -hmm. on this. Okay. And then they get hit by the same yeah. type of question again yeah. on paper two. So in that yeah. sense, I would but say it was then, a bit this unfair. This is the thing when it comes to GCSE students. When they were doing paper one revision, mm -hmm. they expected some topics to come up. 
and it didn't. Yeah. Like, but that's and then I said, right, don't think that it's over. Yeah. Don't get complacent. It might come up again, paper two or paper three, and it, that's what was happening. Even it could, could be mixed within an, an, another topic. But this one is just well, feel this like one, because it, it just... came up already once. No one wants, not twice, a few, like, long division factor theorem, yeah, the fact, it came up several times, I would say. Paper one, it came up, I think, about twice. Mm -hmm. Here, on this paper, again, about two or three times, so okay. there's too, too many when, repeats, I would say. When, in your opinion, because I, I, I can sense from our conversation before we started recording, you felt that this paper was good, was easy. Or, well, well, sorry, I don't want to put words in your mouth, yeah. you tell me. You tell them, what do you think of this paper? I'll ask you directly. I, I'm going to go with my students' view, but the, what, the, what they said. Um, uh, they're so, so quite, quite nice. Um, uh, there are some difficult questions in there, but they're actually doable. Mm -hmm. and that is, when those, does those it get words. difficult, in um, your opinion, then? I mean, pass, pass the quartic graph. Um, number, question number-wise. Uh, pass question, question eight. And then question nine is, is that's when it gets started to get a bit, bit more okay. wordier. So it's, it's a model with exponentials, but you know, it's the same concept, mm -hmm. more or less. Um, and then from there on, it's just the, in terms of text and word, it's that gets longer. Some people uh, sort of might but find that. Then, but if you look at, I'm looking at these. But the actual number maths, nine, number the actual, 10, actual maths is actually straight that's what I was just going to say. Once that you read it, th think about it. It's actually if you, if you had prepared, done all practice questions on this, then it's nothing new. It would... Hope you're enjoying this video. I just want to take a quick break and tell you about my second YouTube channel, Life School. This is a channel that is aimed at helping you beyond the classroom. You see, there's academic education, but there's education deeper that I feel that many young people are not picking up. And that could be for a variety of reasons. Now, this channel isn't for everybody. Go on there, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. If it's something that you feel will be useful to you, then make sure you subscribe and follow the journey there. I do a lot of vlogging of some of my journeys. I've recently come back from Everest Base Camp. I went on a trek there and I was in one of the jungles in Nepal where I actually got chased by a rhino. There is always a lesson that I try to share with my viewers, something that they can learn from the journey that I take, the world that we experience. And that's something I've always enjoyed doing with all of my form groups I've had over the course of my career, which is now spanning to like 18 years. It's mad. But go and check it out, guys, and I'll see you there. Question 11, um, the modeling with linear uh, linear modeling with, with straight lines, that's mm. part, first part. Second part with, with the quad, uh, quadratic function. These are quite common, came up quite a few times in, a, in, a, mm. in, a, in the previous papers. Okay, so, um, but, but look, even if you look at number 12, it looks so familiar. Yeah, it's like modulus stuff. club, and, modulus. And, and it's not too much. Something they could, why, they, would, they, why would student come out? Because I know it's not your student, <laughs> but why would they come out if they should have seen this stuff in past papers over and over again? There's this slight slight change here. Is, 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 is what was catching them up? It's, exactly. it's the it's the composite function putting a modulus graph into another function, which they which hasn't come up in in past papers before. Ah, okay. Um, so that's well, what the, the so little, little things slight, like slight this. change. But if they actually if you actually know how to do the um, composite function, then if you just done it and simplify it, they would have seen ah, it just gives you another modulus graph, oh. and then you can work out you know okay. work out the range. Right. Uh, what we've got next, we got the number 13. Lots of people mentioned this sign. Yeah, and, and then it's just like the, the end bit as well. It's, it's just the number of, if they have solved enough equation with the, like a multiple of uh, sign of 2x, sign of 3x, they, they should know that if there's, if there's sign of 2x, uh, graph gets compressed within 360, it doubles the number of solution. Mm -hmm. If it's 3x, it's about three times the number of solution mm -hmm. within the range. So if they remember that concept, then they can, you know, they can easily answer that and question. And you're told it's got exactly six solutions, which must link to... N equals... Yeah. Can, can okay. I see the answer? No, 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 no. <laughs> let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. Okay, right, right. Now, yes. 14. This is like I haven't, GCSE. I haven't, saw this on the GCSE I, I haven't paper. done this one here, but I've done the GCSE one. It's right. quite, very similar to the GCSE yeah, it one. It is. And, and this is... I mean, look, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Because I don't I mean, the same, to, similar. I was doing this, yeah. I was like... Okay, it's an eight marker. Part A, straightforward. Part B, I was like, get in there. But this is the thing. This is my biggest problem. Yeah, All right? This is my biggest problem. I was almost coming to the end of the paper. I looked at my clock. Like, oh my God, I've just spent 20 minutes, 25 minutes. A lot of thinking behind yeah, it. Yeah. I haven't got a mark scheme to check or anything. <laughs> if you spent 25 minutes on this way, which is almost a quarter of the exam on one question, you're gonna go. Where's the time coming from? You spent already yeah. the thinking time yeah, on I mean, other questions. With, with with this one is is 
if if you've done similar question before, and I think in 2019 the same, you still same got one to came think up. about it. You still got to put the ratios in. And yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's a thinking the, the kind concept, of the actual concept, the maths is 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 nothing new. Is is if you've done those types of questions where you have to get simultaneous equations, or, or you have yeah. to form the two two ways to get to the same yeah. point using using vectors. You just you just do you just look at what what's given and yeah. based on what you're given you just find it still two ways. Takes time. It, it, then, yes, it does. And take then time. what's waiting for you after that is some madness with number yeah. fifteen. Yeah, um, it came out at the end in terms of how much time you got left. You don't have much time left. You, time you get you get stressed. You look at this. You're like, ah, oh, what it was? What's normal distribution doing here? <laughs> Even though it's not normal distribution, <laughs> they might they might get a bit a bit worried about what, yeah. what's this. Yeah. Um, but then the function itself, you look at it. If actually you look at the final details of what you asked to do. Uh, it says P, like it says it's a minimum point, hence stationary point, mm -hmm. gradient equals to zero. And if you differentiate and then you look at it, ah, oh, quotient rule. And it's, it's a nice setup mm -hmm. of the quotient rule. Um, but and given the time that they would have spent answering yeah, I mean, those they, questions, they, they might they, they'll rush into it and then it might and, just and be overwhelmed by it. And that's 13 marks, I think. A total of 13 yeah, marks, I mean, that final one. That's a great trick. Even, even the last part, substitution again with another trick. Uh, that's a great um, trick. See, this is the, so now, Kids are coming out, haven't seen this paper. I think, I think, I, I think, I think, because of the last few questions, that they're basing that on the whole paper because the whole they paper. they saw that as like, oh, why is it so hard? It's like they, if that wasn't come up there, then they would have. I don't think they would have come up saying, you know, mm -hmm. paper was was, okay. was as, as as hard as they as they been saying. I, I, can I ask you something? Then, would you advise students when they're doing papers like this not to start from the beginning? Maybe to start tackling the hardest questions. No. From the very beginning. Definitely not. This is something I do with GCSE students, the brightest ones. Okay, why not? Uh, do you feel that they need to warm no, up with easy questions? No, I think first thing is you need to maximize the easy marks. Get all the easy ones out of the way. Because mm -hmm. it's time, time management you're, you're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, get all the easy ones out of the way. And then once you've done all the ones you can easily do, then you go back and focus on, on the ones that you need more more time with. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you focus too much on, on the harder questions and you have less time, and then when you do get to the easy one, you're going to find those hard because you could look at the time. But then this is what I would advise the students. I would say, if a question is, you see that it's taking too much time, leave it. Leave it, just come go back. back. Is it go differently? Do I something think, else, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but while, you, while you're working on other questions. When I do A-level um, papers, just yeah. solutions for myself, I always start the hardest question. So That's because back. you've got time. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, you know, in an exam, you know, in an exam, you don't have that pressure. Yeah. Question to you guys. Having heard our opinion on this paper and Mr. Ali's input, if you are somebody who was thinking that this paper was difficult, has your opinion changed now or not? All right? Please share your views in the comments section. But moving on for paper number three now. All right. Um, what, 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 we, we spoke very briefly. Yeah. Do you I, feel I, I that this feel, paper... I have a feeling that this, this stats paper is going gonna, is gonna to be quite, quite, quite hard. It's going to be a lot wordier because... Because and so hold on. are you saying only, paper three if, will be harder if they keep if, if 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 they keep it to the same style as pure one and two then maybe you know it won't be as 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 difficult but I just feel like because paper one was quite quite quite, quite nice is it related because that's a pure yeah a pure in, in terms of in terms of um how difficult let's look at the statistics are. and mechanics separately but okay. some of them might be doing other yeah I mean reasons, with, but... with with mechanics it's just, it's just you know, you always get those standard topics that come up, mm -hmm. um, like uh, kinematics and rigid bodies and inclined plane. Um, but with, do you with, feel with stats, I can, they can easily make it hard? Like, for example, what like, would they make harder in statistics? Um, that the students need like to... topics that hasn't come up in pure maths, like binomial expansion. They might throw that in there for binomial distribu distribution. Okay. Then while they're using calculator, you might have to use the formula, the expansion formula, to work mm. out your probabilities. Um, okay. Students have different strengths. Some students are good at statistics, some students are good at mechanics. I personally prefer the mechanics. Let's focus on mechanics. We've seen these ladder questions come up. You know, the... Um, the rigid angles. bodies. Yeah, rigid bodies. What should students, you know, look out for for these things? No, with these, but if you have done enough of those, it's always the same concept. Either it's uniform or non-uniform. Mm -hmm. um, just... Go with go with the any, flow. Look, any look, surprises that they could find um, to some of these questions? I mean, so far they're always given the the, the, the wall is smooth, mm -hmm. but if that becomes uh, rough, mm -hmm. then you got an additional uh, force for friction to, to work with. Okay. Um, but that only came up uh, on, on the international mechanics papers. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen it come up and it came up a few few times. So if you want to do some of those questions, mm -hmm. look at the um, M1 in international mechanics. Uh, just look at rigid bodies there. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if there's any questions that you have. 
do write them in the comments. We'll try to answer as much of them as possible. So if you could maybe keep an eye on the uh, comment section and if yeah. there's any specific questions directed, uh, maybe you could uh, answer them. Yeah. All right. Wishing you guys all the best for the next few days. And Thursday yeah. is the day. Yeah. All the best, guys. Yeah. And hopefully all we'll do best. a review of the statistics and mechanics. Yeah, I'm quite looking system. forward to that. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I won't say right. much more. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye for Bye. Now.